Hi, Jeff. How are you? Welcome to Buffalo, first of all. Um, what did the Bills communi communicate to you in terms of what they saw for your potential role uh, in this offense? Well, you know, they gave me an opportunity to come in and compete for a uh, starting position. So, you know, I'm welcome to the task, you know, come uh, OTAs and training camp to earn my, my right to be a Buffalo Bill. What's it, what's it like for you at, at 33 to finally get your free agent contract, to finally get your, you know, your first crack at it? It's, a, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. Like, it was overwhelming at first, but, you know, I had to take it all in. You know, God is good. Yeah, so, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm really excited for the opportunity. Your, um, your versatility, it seems like, was one of the selling points for sure for them. They need, you know, help and you can <laughs> move around a bit. Give us your impression of what they told you. Are they going to put you somewhere specific, or do they want you to kind of bop around a little bit? Nothing set in stone. So we're going to you know, go into the off-season program and go into training camp and you know, go from there, see what, what works, and you know, go from there. How, yeah. what, what do you make of just, just how the, per, the perse perseverance you've shown to put together the career that you've had and now to be here today with the deal that you have? It just speaks to the character that I have. You know? Over to overcome, able to overcome uh, adversity, and you know push through it. It just shows I have great perseverance, and you know I'm willing to get my hands dirty and you know figure it out. You play, did you feel like this was your best uh, season this past season for Washington? Um, it's I can say it's one of my better ones. It's one of my better ones. You know, um, the season before last, I was I was injured. And, you know, I was playing, you know, I wasn't 100%. Right. So I felt I didn't put out a, a good display of myself. So I felt I had to come back with a better year. As the season wore on, did you feel like, you know what, I'm I'm going to get a chance. This is good timing for me. When the, I mean, I don't know if you think about free agency while the season's going on. But once the season ended, did you say, like, I mean, I put some good film out there. I'm going to well, you know, get... in the offseason when I reflect on, you know, how well I did and how, well, how, better, how much better I could have been, you know, I reflected and I was like, you know, pretty, I did pretty well. So, yeah, it did come across my mind at the end of the season, you know, right. not during the season necessarily. Left tackle, you you know, you had good snaps there. Were you, you feel most comfortable there? I mean, wherever they feel they need me at, I play. Ty, first of all, welcome to Buffalo. Can you first say your last name for us so we all have another record? In Seki. In Seki. And um, was there ever a point in your career where I mean, you doubted it would happen? You doubted that you'd be able to, you know, stick oh, in the man. NFL? Yeah. Uh, Early in early in my, my time, you know, when I was young, when I had a few setbacks, you know, injuries here and there, or, you know, I'd get a call and, you know, things would fall through, you know, I kind of, like, you know, human nature, you know, I kind of doubted, you know, the, the opportunity, doubted my, my skill set, and, you know, just having a good, you know, family, good good friends in my corner, you know, helped me push through the tough times, and thank goodness I'm where I'm at now. What did you know at all, if anything, about the city of Buffalo before all this? Uh, I knew it was in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is a good policy. Good. <laughs> you, you, I, this will be your 11th or 12th pro team. Do you have like uh? Thanks for the I have a count. Do you have like all the jerseys like in your uh, den or in your basement or something? I do in my office. I have them all in my office. Right. Yeah. You have a favorite jersey that you've ever worn? Just the coolest looking one? Uh, this one that I got now. Diplomacy <laughs> 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 <Wolfie> too. <laughs> do you think you'd be able to name all twelve teams? Right yeah, now? I can name them. Yeah. 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 yeah, of course. I'll just, yeah. I'll just, do, yeah. You know, when you're playing for the Arena League too, and the Arena League, I mean, is there a player who you? Um, thought about who maybe not had your path, but who, you know, had to really rise up from, you know, the lower arena league, who you thought, well, you know, if they could do it, I can do it, or, or not really. Well, position specific, I don't think it had, I don't think it's been done. Right. But like, you know, I took, I look at Kurt Warner's path, right. you know, he, he came from the arena ranks and Hall of Famer. Right. So, you know, I, I saw that that's been done, and right. you know, it's been proven to be a, a chance and a path that's been paved. So I was, I was like, why well, can't do it? You know. Right. What led you to choose Buffalo? I mean, I'm sure you were a, a popular person in free agency. What led you to to feel Buffalo was a good fit for you? Well, you know, just the overall culture here. You know, it's, especially when I came out here, I see that it's, it's family based. You know, it's a good organization. You know, it, it fits my skill set. So. It felt like it was the best fit for me. You're one of the only guys that um, you know maybe been able to 
be close in age, I would say, to Frank on the team. They're so uh, much younger, Frank Gore. You know, what do you know about your new teammate and um, you know watching him play because you guys are on the same Amazing athlete, you know, to be able to do it at a high level for that long, it's amazing, and especially at that position, it's amazing. I got to talk to him for a little bit when we came over here earlier this morning, and you know, it's going to be great working with him. What about him? What, what struck you about him as first impressions go in, in, in talking to him? Just, I mean, you know, the fact that he's been doing what he's been doing for so long at a high level, and he's so humble, you know, if you, like if you just met him, you wouldn't even know that Frank Gore, the great Frank Gore, you know, it's just, he's just a great guy, like, comes off, he came on the bus saying, hey, how you doing? Like, he's real, you know, real personable. So, he's a good guy. How many guys were on the bus? Today? Yeah. Oh, man, uh, I think seven, seven did, or eight. Did you have to wear name tags or anything? Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You know, everybody was cool. Everybody got to meet everybody. You know, everybody introduced themselves. So, it was, it was a good experience. So, I, even though you're, um, you know, 33 now, your, your snap counts in the NFL, it's not an outrageous number. Do, do you feel physically, um, you know, fresh and like you're, you know, maybe a, you can play a little younger than what your age maybe was. Oh, of course, of course. You know, even though I'm 33, I haven't played consecutive years of NFL football, so there's a lot of tread left on this tire. You, you were, uh, you were, did some work as a bodyguard in 2012, right? Before, for a little while, like between, well, between and football jobs, is that true? Yeah, and you know, when I was in college, you know, that was like the gig that I had to get extra money. Yeah, so. Right. Yeah. So would that have been the closest in 2012 you were to maybe not keep going, uh, but then the, uh, another Arena League offer came 2011. 2011. 2011, yeah. yeah. 2011 is when I thought about just hanging it up, yeah. Ty, I believe uh, the Redskins put a second-round sender on you last year, right? You were an RFA? Yeah. Uh, did you think that, that, what was the situation? Were you trying to work out something long-term? Did you think, you know, did you know you'd be UFA this year? How did that happen? Well, I mean, I discussed it with my agent, but like, I didn't really know the process or what was going to happen, so I just left it up to him to negotiate the terms and everything. And fortunately, everything worked out in my favor. Uh, so you have any conversations with uh, your new offensive line coach Bobby Johnson or offensive coordinator Brian Dable? Yeah, I talked to him today, and you know they they gave me uh, what they were expecting from me coming in this upcoming season, and you know what they liked when they saw my film, and you know how they said I would fit into the culture here. What did, and what did they like? My character. They said they liked how I finished the the. The way that you know I kind of have a nastiness to me. Uh, they say that you know they like how intelligent I play. Um, they say that you know the fact that I'm an older guy and I'm a vet, you know, it fits in here. You know, we can we can use some vet presence on the line to you know kind of bring instill a new culture. So you know that's what I plan on helping and planning on bringing to the field. So you, you mentioned uh, you know you were a, a bodyguard in past past career. Now you're here to protect Josh Allen. Just your thoughts of him and, and what he brings to the table. Uh, you know, he's a great guy. Um, when, you know, news hit that, you know, that obviously we agreed in terms to sign here, he was one of the first guys to reach out to me and say, hey, welcome to the team. So, you know, he's a great guy. I appreciate him for that. All right, so clarify. Was he one of the first or was he the first? It, it, it's, it's a running thing here. My phone's been blowing up. So I don't right. know. <laughs> <laughs> the first two guys said he was the first guy who called me. So. Yeah. I can't recall. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thank cool. you. Good. All right. Thank you, guys.